I could swear that someone's walking around out there. Well, I don't see a thing. If we hear anything else, I'll just call Nolan and have him go outside exploring. Oh, he'll love that. He's afraid of his own shadow. Why am I feeling so jittery tonight? Oh, you know, maybe it's the after effects of spending time with Olivia. It makes my flesh crawl. Actually, I'm feeling a little sorry for her these days. Oh, please. No, no, it's been a while, but I remember what it's like to be tortured by Alan. Well, there's a big difference. She deserves everything she's gotten and more. What I'm concerned about is how she's going to make up for her losses. With Philip? Exactly. I'm not going to stand by and watch her ruin his life. No, just because he happens to think he needs to rescue her from us. Oh, see, another good reason to back off and leave them alone right now. So you're saying take the high road, is that it? <sighs> that seems to be the only road I can take these days. After breaking up with Philip and then Bill, I've got to hold on to my dignity. That seems to be all that I have. <laughs> Cue the violins. Oh, please, that is nonsense. You have Philip's love. Oh, Alexandra. Well, it's no. true. <laughs> it's true. You're the love of his life, John. And anything else that comes along, believe me, is just filler. You're the love of his life, John. And anything else that comes along, believe me, is just filler. And the way you behaved right in front of Olivia and Philip just now just proves to him once and again that you're head and shoulders above that devious tart. I have to admit, I hope he appreciates the effort I'm making with Olivia. It's a little hard not to resent her for coming out on top after all the yeah. things that she's done. I understand, but, but she won't fool Philip forever. I mean, look, she couldn't hang on to Richard Winslow or Josh Lewis. You th Philip's not going to buy this forever. You know, believe me, darling, her world is going to come crashing down around her soon what enough. What is it? That's it again. That... Nolan! Nolan, get in here. I need you right away. Do you think that could be Alan? Well, I hope so. Oh, my God, it's Lizzie! Sir, Lizzie, stay! Stay oh right there! Philip, hi. I'm sorry to call you so late. Beth, what's wrong? Lizzie's home. What? Apparently, there was a fire at her school, and she just bolted. I think she's in shock. Okay, I'll be right there. Now, Philip, don't come. Don't come? Beth, she's my daughter. I want to see her. She's overwrought. Right. Look. Look, she doesn't even know where I'm living right now. I, I just, just hang on. I'll, I'll be right there. Philip, Philip. I think it's best if you don't come. So, wait a minute. Liz, Lizzie is in trouble, and you think the best thing that I could do is stay away? Your aunt knew that you hadn't told Lizzie about your new place and Olivia. So she told her you were away on business. And if you show up tonight, Lizzie's just going to get riled up when what she needs is a good night's sleep. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Beth. Philip, she'll have enough to deal with tomorrow. With Alan missing and your situation, please. Okay. I'm not happy about it, but okay. Come first thing in the morning. No word on Alan. <laughs> so sorry that I goofed up the way I did the other day. Oh, goofed, huh? You told me my brother may be drowned at the bottom. They, they, they dredged the entire lake. Now, the police just did looking hold forward. on, Alex. I never said that I saw Alan in the lake. I said that I saw water around him. <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of this whole vision thing. Really, but would you please try practicing on someone else? So I guess you don't want to hear the message I received this morning. If 
if it's about Alan. No, thank you. It came to me clear as a bell. What did I just Alan say, Reba? Alan is not the stalker, Alexandra. It's not him. Well, all right. But given the evidence the police have, they seem to think otherwise, and it pains me to say it, but I have to agree with them. Well, they're wrong. And that's why I have to help you find Alan so that I can prove it. Oh, Reva, Reva, but please, please stay Alex, out of this. Now, thank you very much. What? Well, what? Nothing. Nothing. You saw something. Now, what? Danger. Terrible danger. Alan's in danger? No. You are. Well, Reva, you know, I, I, you must be mistaken about that. I mean, right. Why would, you, why would you be in danger? I mean, you haven't done anything wrong. But neither did Alan, Alexandra. I'm sure of it. So if you would just let me help you find him. Reva, please, will you just let the police If I could just this. stay in the house for a while and touch some more of his things, maybe I could get a clearer read of exactly where he is. Come on, you want to sit is. down here at the desk like you did the other day in Fondle? I mean, come on. <laughs> and, and practically, you know, predict my brother's death? I know. I, I'm sorry. I guess I want to help because I feel so guilty. Guilty? Yes. I mean, in a, in a way, you've been just as victimized as I was. I mean, what kind of a person would do something like this to other people, to ruin people's lives, and why? Well, as someone who, who wasn't thinking particularly clearly, I know someone not, who's trouble. Not him. Not Alan. But Alan knows who it was. He knows, and and he's going to get revenge. You had a call, Alexandra. Last night, you had a call, and there was no one on the other end of the line. And that frightened you. I'm... I'm gonna just get out of your hair now. And whatever I said about you being in any kind of danger, I'm, I'm really sure it was nothing. 